Hello everyone, I'm Akash Chandra Gupta and today in this video I'll be talking about kinetic energy of a rotating body and moment of inertia. Hope you have enjoyed my videos which I am making. So let's just get started. In this video we are we take a rigid body. Rigid body is made up of many point masses. Let us suppose just three point masses for this interpretation. Let the point masses be m1, m2 and m3 at a distance of r1, r2 and r3 respectively from the axis of rotation AB. Here rigid body is rotating about the axis of rotation so it's possessing a rotational velocity. Let the rotational velocity be v1 and the v1 is equals to the omega that is the angular velocity and the radius r1 where v1 is the linear velocity so linear velocity is equals to the angular velocity into radius so the kinetic energy so the respective kinetic energy of the mass point mass m1 is equals to half m1 v1 square and putting the value of v1 we get half m1 omega square r1 square similarly for particle 2 point mass particle 2 the velocity of the point mass is v2 omega into r2 so the kinetic energy of the point mass 2 is similarly half m1 half m2 v2 square so we get half m2 omega square r2 square again for v3 similarly half m3 omega square r3 square and so on so on comprises of all those particles that rigid body is made up of all those particles will possess a kinetic energy as the body or the whole body is rotating about the axis a b so here we are about to calculate the kinetic energy of the rotating body and the moment of inertia so let's just calculate the kinetic energy of the whole rigid body so it will be nothing just the algebraic sum of all the kinetic energies so k kinetic energy 1 kinetic energy 2 and kinetic energy 3 of all the respective point masses so here putting all the values we get this thing and taking half omega 1 common omega square common so we get this value half omega square in bracket m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square plus dot dot, dot so on so whatever this is half omega square dot summation of mr square we can write this as summation of mr square the summation of all the m1 and r1 square of all the particles of the rigid body here we can see that i1 i is equals to let's just suppose that i is equals to summation of mr square we can say this i as moment of inertia it is known as the moment of inertia moment of inertia of the body rotating about an axis so what we get the kinetic energy of the whole body is equals to half i omega square so as of now we just understood to calculate the kinetic energy of a rotating body rotating energy body so what is the definition what's the exact definition of moment of inertia for doing this let's just see the moment of definition of moment of inertia so moment of inertia of a rigid body about a fixed axis is defined as the sum of the product of the masses of all the particles constituting the body and square of their respective distances from the axis of rotation so this is what moment of inertia definition is hope you understand it like the video and subscribe the channel if you didn't understand just go ahead and repeat the video and see it once more you'll be able to understand it it's the very easy the easiest thing i like it